Hey, content marketing world. I'm Lovey Jai Jones, and I'm here to talk about speaking truth to power. We are not a culture, we're not a society of people who know how to tell the truth as a habit. And it's not because we're bad people. It's because we have not had the practice. In the small moments when we are asked to tell the truth, we don't because we don't want to rock the boat. So in the big moments when we are required to speak up and do the things that's difficult and say the things that's difficult, we don't even have the language for it. We've all been sitting in a meeting where somebody gave an idea that was not good, not thoughtful, ill-conceived. It's probably better that they never said it. And it reminds me of every time a company has major backlash over something that they did publicly when they throw an ad out that was not thoughtful at all and everybody's mad about it. I'm always like, who was a person in the room who did not tell the truth? Who was a person who knew that this would not go well, but did not speak up? There's always at least one in every room. A lot of times when we want to tell the truth or say something or challenge something and we think, you know what, it's not my business. What we're doing is saying that the world's well-being is not our business, that what's happening in the room with us at the table, at the literal table, is not our business. And I think it's actually wrong. I think it's incorrect. I don't want us to take comfort in the fact that what's happening around us might not directly affect us. So that means we should not be the ones trying to fight against it. We're constantly waiting for Superman when we also have red capes. So we got to start using our red capes. What I am hoping is that somebody who has power is listening to me and listen to this today. Because our hope in this world should be that the people who don't have as much power as we do, do not have to put the little power that they do have on the line. When we can use our power to make sure they have more of a voice, more access, you know, more power in that room to be able to say something. Now, the truth, being a challenger, being a truth teller, being the person who insists on making sure the things that happen in the rooms that they're in are just, are equitable, it's not easy. It is a moment by moment decision that we make to stand up and elevate and challenge the things that's not okay. And the truth is scary. Even for those of us who've been doing for a long time, even those of us who've been practicing for a long time. So I came up with three questions that I asked myself. If the answer is yes to all three questions, I say it and I let the chips fall. So my three questions. The first one is, do I mean it? This thing that you're about to say, do you actually believe it? Or are you just hearing yourself talk? Are you just saying it to disrupt the room? Do you actually believe this thing? Number two, can I defend it? So if I'm challenging something, I also have to be okay with it being challenged, which means I gotta have my receipts. I gotta have proof. I gotta be able to defend and justify it. If the answer is no, I can't defend this thing, maybe I shouldn't say it. Third question, can I say it thoughtfully or with love? This question is important because how a message is given can absolutely affect how it lands, but also even to your own intention. Am I saying it thoughtfully or with love? Because there are some things that are valid that you can say that can come across hateful. Right? If you use hateful slurs, if you use the intention to demean somebody, this is also a good checkpoint to make sure that you're thinking about the humanity of the person across from you, the person that's gonna receive this message. So those three questions, do I mean it? Can I defend it? Can I say it thoughtfully or with love? If the answer is yes to all three, then I know it is my responsibility to say and do the thing and deal with however way the chips fall. And thank you, Content Marketing World, for having me. I'm actually honored 